Hello, mathematicians, and welcome to 2.6, Constant of Proportionality. Our essential question today is, what is the constant of proportionality, and how do I find it? We'll go ahead and grab those needed supplies. They're the same as always, that writing utensil, math notebook, growth mindset, and that determination. All right, we have not one, not two, but three learning goals today. Learning goal number one, I can define the constant of proportionality. Learning goal number two, I can determine the constant of proportionality from a table. And learning goal number three, I can determine the constant of proportionality from a graph. Here we go. So, constant of proportionality, what in the world is it? Well, let's look at these two words separately and see what we know about them. In proportionality, I see the word proportion. We know that a proportion it's just equivalent ratios. Okay, what does the word constant mean? You've got it, a constant is something that happens over and over and over. It's consistent, it's constant. And so a constant of proportionality is that thing that happens over and over and over with equivalent ratios. Let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? We're gonna start by looking at constant of proportionality in ratio tables. And in order to find that constant thing that happens over and over, we need to say, what did they do to x to get y? So which one of these was the x-axis? You got it, you remembered from our last video, it's x-axis is the burgers and y-axis is the hot dogs. So what are we doing to the numbers in the burger columns to get those numbers in the hot dog columns? This one's real easy to see because we know two times two is four. We know that four times two is eight, and we know that six times two is 12. That means the COP, the constant of proportionality, is two. I'm doing that constantly. I'm multiplying by two over and over and over. And because this has a constant of proportionality, we know that that table is proportional, okay? Let's look at another one. Clarinets to flutes, x-axis to y-axis. What are we doing to the clarinets to figure out how many flutes there are? This one's also fairly simple to see. 12 multiplied by 1 half is 6. 20 multiplied by 1 half is 10. And 24 multiplied by 1 half is 12. Now you may have looked at that going the other way and you may have thought, well, 6 times 2 is 12 and 10 times 2 is 20. But remember the question up there is, what do we do to x to get y? So it always moves left to right. Here, because I'm constantly multiplying by one half, that constant of proportionality is one half. And because there is a constant of proportionality, that tells me that this table of ratios is proportional. All of those are equivalent. Let's look at one more together here. We've got cars and trucks. What do we do to X to get Y? Well, fairly simple to see. We know that three times three is nine. We know that seven times three is 21, and we know that eight times four is 32. Since we didn't do the same thing constantly, there is no constant of proportionality, and that means this table is not proportional, okay? So not all of those ratios are equivalent. Now, this one, a little more challenging, simply because as you can tell sometimes, it's not easy to see that constant of proportionality. Those others were simple, times two, times one half. They jump right out at you. But sometimes our numbers are not quite as pretty and it doesn't jump out at you. So when that happens, what do we do to figure it out? Well, we've got this little formula that just appeared on your screen and it's y divided by x equals k. Well, we know where y came from, that's the y-axis. We know where x comes from, the x-axis. What in the world is K? K is the variable, the letter that we use to talk about the constant of proportionality, to represent the constant of proportionality. So in this one, I'm gonna take the Y and divide by X. So for that first row, it's gonna be 1.125 divided by 1.5, that equals 3 fourths or 0 0.75. I'm gonna do the same for the next one. 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75. That means they took 4 and multiplied it by 0 0.75 to get 3. 
And so far so good, but we saw in that last one, we gotta have it every time. So let's go ahead and do that four and a half divided by eight and three fourths. It does equal 0 0.75. Therefore, we're multiplying by 0 0.75. That's the constant of proportionality. And this table is proportional. Okay, let's move into getting the constant of proportionality from a graph. This is where you're really going to need that formula y divided by k, y divided by x equals k. And so we're going to pick a point. I always like to pick a point like this one where it's exactly on the lines. It's not in between and I'm not trying to guess. And I'm going to see what the y coordinate is. In this case, remember that is the up and down. That is the vertical. In this case, it is 10 and then the x it is on 12 so 10 divided by 12 is 5 6 so on this one the constant of proportionality is 5 6 let's look at another one band instruments this time we've got tubas and trumpets again I'm picking out this formula that's what I want to use I'm looking at the point that is exactly on line so that there is no guessing and the y I can see is 2 and the x is 4, so 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 or 1 half. Here, the constant of proportionality is 1 half. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is 2.6 constant of proportionality. Hopefully you can now answer the essential question, what is the constant of proportionality and how do I find it? Got to give my shout out as always to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, Bricks and Borders, and Pixel Garden Designs for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.